Side mount scuba diving. A lot of divers transition over to it and they swear they'll never go back. However, there are some caveats to side mount. Primarily, how do you get in and out of the water if, say, you got a bungee system versus just clipping your tanks off? Let's find out together. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina and today we're going to be talking about side mount diving and some of the caveats to diving a system the way I do. Now typically speaking in side mount, I dive what's called the North Florida Cave Rig and that's basically where we're down at Jenny Springs or we're in a system, a cave system where basically we can walk down a set of stairs and we can prep our gear while we're still in the water. Now the biggest benefit to this is, is I'm not walking around on land with a bunch of heavy cylinders. I can walk them down in the water, come back, prep for the dive, put my BC on just like I've got it now and then when I walk into the water I can take all the time in the world to clip off a tank pull my bungee around the neck get it into position and I'm good to go the biggest caveat to this style of diving inside mount is I can't really jump off a boat and climb that boat ladder without actually having to remove the system to hand up first or jump in and have the system handed down to clip off well I'm going to show you how you can transition into a boat rig versus just a walk-in rig without actually changing your system at all. So let's get started. All right, guys, so I've just got the Subgravity 2.0 Diamond here. This is my personal side mount rigs, what I prefer to dive with. Um, and the, the biggest caveat to this system, it's really only designed for that walk-in entry scenario or you can do say a giant stride in and have somebody hand you their your cylinders down to you to clip off basically you're going to have a d-ring on the waist strap that you just simply clip the bottom to and then the the top part of the cylinder is secured by a looped bungee you just simply pull it around the post and it pulls that cylinder in where it needs to be so it's in proper trim now there are several other systems out there dive right makes a great system that is actually a uh, a reamed bungee system so so instead of having, say, this loop scenario here, you just have a solid bungee that comes around, but in between that, you're going to have a little ring, and then you're going to have a larger D-ring that you actually clip to. And when you clip to that ring, what that does is that gives you a metal-to-metal -metal connection at the surface so that you can actually walk around your, through your cylinders, you can climb a ladder with them, you can do a giant stride, and then once you're in the water and you start to lose the buoyancy characteristics of the cylinder, if you will, or you get negative buoy, that bungee is going to pull it up into position and you don't really have a problem. Well, unless you're diving with a system, there is a caveat to dive with the system I have. So I'm gonna show you a real brief um, scenario of how you can get around that. Basically, all you need is two double enders and a little bit of paracord. So once you got two double enders, basically what you're gonna do is just clip them to your D-ring and you're gonna get rid of your harness, right? And then on your actual cylinder itself, However you decide to rig it up, instead of having to put a stage system on, all I do is I tie a little loop with a piece of bungee cord and I can take the double enders, clip to it, and I can clip off to my D-ring. Now this is actually very, very secure at the surface and it's actually gonna allow you to make a boat entry. Typically speaking, when I make a boat entry, I don't even worry about my bungees. I make the entry with it simply clipped off at the top, clip off at the bottom, and then once I'm underwater, I can start my procedure of the loop bungees. The first thing I do, of course, is remove the uh, double ender. I simply remove it, clip it off to a D-ring, and then I can take my bungee and secure Secure that system to get it in proper trim. Now, at the end of the dive, I've still got to climb up the ladder. I'm not going to be able to climb up the ladder with the bungee system secure in the top. So I'm going to have to resort back to the double ender itself. And usually I'll do this during my safety stop. All I've got to do is just simply um, take the bungee off or I can leave the bungee on. It doesn't really matter. I can take my double ender, secure it back to the piece of paracord or whatever um, rope system you want to put on the top of your tank and then I can clip off to my D-ring as well and that's going to make it nice and secure for me to exit the water whether I'm walking out of the water or whether I'm climbing up on a ladder system such as what you're going to see on a boat and this is a very very simple fix it's a very very inexpensive fix all you've got to have is two double enders and a little bit of paracord and you just simply tie a loop clip to it 
clip to yourself. You can do a giant stride, you can do a rollback, and you can do a, a proper exit, whether it's a walkout exit or whether it's a ladder exit as well. And then once you're in the water, you can secure those tanks using your bungees as well. So guys, this is a quick fix to a system like mine where I need to do boat diving as well. And it's just simply not as possible with those bungees to make a boat entry and exit. Once again, a little bit of paracord or cordage of whatever you want to use, two dumbbell enders, you're good to go. Guys, I really hope you liked this video. I hope you found it educational. And if you did, simply smash that like button for me. Definitely share it as well. If you got any questions on side mount diving, please put it down in the comments section below. Uh, if you dive a different rig system than what I do, let me know down in the comments what you use and why you prefer it as well. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, really think about hitting that like button and definitely sharing it for us as well. If you got any questions on side mount diving or any other type of diving, please put it down in the comment section below and we will definitely read it and try to answer it the best we can. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure you check out these links over here. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified each and every time we upload new content. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos and we'll see you in the next one.